Welcome to another episode of Six Pack Sundays, a weekly video series question and answer form where homeowners, DIYs, and fellow painting professionals can submit their questions throughout the week and kick back on Sunday to learn the answers. Don't ask Google, but ask a painter. Who is the best painter in the world? Leonardo da Vinci is considered to be the best painter in the world. But as you know, he was an artistic painter, not a house painter. If you're using a search engine to ask the question, most likely you get the same answer. When using a search engine, choose your keywords carefully. Da Vinci was Italian, and it is true that some of the best artistic painters come from Italy. However, at the time that da Vinci completed the Mona Lisa in England, some of the first house painting guilds were being created as individual house painters organized to share their knowledge and techniques and set standards for the trade. Many of the best painters in the world give credit to the house painting guild system for their success. Some believe that American house painting companies are some of the best. As a painter, I look to early 20th century American painters as a standard for excellence. In my opinion, two of the best house painters in the world were the Smiths, a father and daughter duo that quit their job as farmers and soon found success in house painting when founding American Gothic Painting. But don't take my word for it, just look at their before and after. What is the best paint in your opinion? Given the recent paint shortage, the best paint has become the best paint that is available. The leading paint manufacturers in the U.S. are Sherwin-Williams and Benjamin Moore. Both have a portfolio of brands that are comparable in quality. However, the debate continues and the market remains divided by the brand preferences of loyal customers for each company. Despite both companies' efforts in product development to launch new brands with new super or advanced formulations. Having differences in brand preferences is perfectly fine, as long as it's not creating an issue at home. But if you still can't figure it out, I recommend consulting with the woman of the house. When should you hire a painter? As a painting contractor, I would say anytime you need painting. However, if it's just a small bathroom, I understand if you want to attempt to do that yourself, if you have the time. A recent study shows that the number one reason why homeowners would hire out the work rather than doing it themselves is that the area that needs painting may be out of their reach. I suppose one reason may be that they don't have a ladder, or they may just be afraid of heights. Painting does come with some risk of serious injury or death in regards to ladder safety. If you're scared of heights, I recommend using the help of a professional. There are many tasks for each painting project. For example, rather than working on the ladder, you could play it safe and choose to cut the walls while someone else rolls them. Where should you mask when painting an exterior? When painting a home exterior, one efficient way is to make use of an airless paint sprayer. Be aware that there will be overspray. Make sure that you mask your windows with some 3 mil painter's plastic and painter's tape. And use your drop cloths to cover porch floors and patios. Many homes feature a two color scheme, with the siding as a primary color and the trim as a secondary accent. When painting window and door casings or corner trim, you can use a brush and a roller. When painting the cornice, you can use an airless paint sprayer, but no need for masking. Simply use a painter's shield to get a crisp line to separate the colors. If you're changing color schemes of your home, be sure to test some samples before purchasing all of the paint. And if you're still unsure, consult with a design professional. And be sure to check with your HOA to see if there's any color restrictions so you don't incur a financial penalty. And if you've recently completed an exterior painting project, send me the before and afters. I'd love to see them. What 
Why do most painters draw vans? Yes, that is true. Many painters do drive vans. They're very useful. You can strap your ladders to the top and secure your painting tools and supplies inside to keep them dry. Some painters drive unmarked white vans, while others choose to use the large sidewall to list the name of their company and describe what they do. Ultimately, the van is an excellent vehicle to get any contractor to the next job. How do you know if a painter is good? A good painter is someone who is passionate about painting. They have the experience and knowledge of painting with a good eye and attention to detail. If working by themselves, they have the ability to manage a project. If working as part of a crew, they have the ability to follow instructions and work well as a team. Painting is a skilled trade that requires a detail-oriented, methodical approach with consistent technique. In a recent survey of individuals who chose not to pursue a career in painting, the number one reason why was impatience. Name something homeowners may dislike more than painting their house. And that concludes another episode of Six Pack Sundays. Be sure to tune in next Sunday to hear the answers for the questions you submit this week. Thanks for watching and happy Sunday.